Hey, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. Today we're going to walk through uh, deploying Office 2016 using the Office Customization Toolkit or the OCT from Microsoft and then uh, using PDQ Deploy to deploy that out to all your computers. First thing you're going to want to do is grab the media that, that has Office 2016, copy it out to a file, uh, an accessible file share. This is the recommended way anyway. Um, once you've done that, uh, you go out, you can see I've got this I'm at, right at that point. I've got my 32-bit and 64-bit. If you're going to do both architectures, you're going to have to do these steps twice. Uh, we're, today, we're just going to do the 32-bit. You also need to have, uh, in this case, in the 32-bit, you need to have the admin directory. Um, that's actually where the OCT runs from. So uh, if you don't have that, make sure you go try to find it, but it should come in your media. And you'll see the setup.exe. So what we're going to do is simply run this setup exe with a forward slash admin. This, this tells us we want to actually instantiate the OCT window. Um, if you've already done this and you've got an existing uh, customization file that you want to edit, just click this uh, little option here and then open that file. In this case, we're just going to create a new one. And it will create it right in that same directory uh, where setup exe exists. All right, so here we are. Welcome to it. By the way, this is not the method you'll use for um, deploying Office 365. There's a separate video for that. All right, set your install location. We're just going to keep the default there. You can add your organization name if you want. Um, we're not going to go through each. Oh, if we went through each and every single one of these, can you believe that? Be horrible. We're just going to cover a couple of these. A lot of it's self-explanatory. We want to just really hit on some of the uh, gotchas. We're going to go to licensing and user interface. If you have a KMS server in your environment, then obviously you can just use that option. Otherwise, use the product key. JJ, make sure to hide that. And then you want to accept the terms uh, in the license agreement. Display level, very, very important. You want this set to none. There are times when you can set it to, um, to basic, but that's really only for troubleshooting. We're not going to cover that here. So set it to none. Um, the no cancel is really not necessary if you have a display level of none, but it doesn't hurt. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Remove previous installations. It's recommended that you do that. Um, but you can also customize it if you want. So we'll, we'll, we're going to keep those. The modify setup properties. We're going to add two additional setup properties here. If you've done this in the past with earlier versions of the OCT, maybe for 2013 or 2010, uh, there's a bunch of properties that were, that you used back then that have been deprecated by Microsoft and are no longer um, no longer usable. We want to do one called setup reboot. That's setup underscore reboot with a value of never. Uh, if if you do want to reboot, then don't bother doing this. Um, never. And then we're going to also add one called hide update UI. And we'll set that to true. If you remember, um, in this directory uh, where we ran the setup exe, there is an updates folder. If you want to go out, grab any uh, hot fixes that came out. Uh, for 2016, you can grab those and throw them in the updates folder and uh, basically uh, the installation will traverse the files in here and attempt to install them on the target computer at the end of the installation. So throw your updates in here. Those uh, updates are uh, architecture uh, dependent. So in this case, I've only got the 32-bit in there for obvious reasons. Anyway, um, modify user settings if you want to do that. If you uh, are... Um, Upgrading from previous installation, you might want to focus on the Outlook profiles um, to, to migrate those, etc. But for the most part, we're just going to accept. We're just going to accept these. Once you're done, just hit Save from the File menu. You can call this, you know, whatever you want. We'll call it Office 2016-32. It's going to create an MSP file, and it's going to create it once again in that same path, uh, the same folder as as your setup. So there it is, there's an Office 2016. And then you can just close this. Yes, I really want to quit. Perfect. I'm going to copy this, this file, because it's going to come, uh, come up right now, or very, very soon. 
Now we're gonna open up PDQ Deploy. Now what we're gonna do uh, in PDQ Deploy, you can do in the free, pro, or, or enterprise versions. Uh, some of the things you won't be able to do in, in the free, but obviously the, the big one of deploying Office, you can. So I'm just gonna go to uh, create a new package here. Name it accordingly. And if you wanna do 32 and 64, depending on the architecture of the target, you can in the same package, as long as you have pro or enterprise, you just use multiple steps. But in this case, like I say, we're just gonna do a 32-bit regardless of the architecture. And then there's the uh, step one. Give it a name if you have pro or enterprise, if you want, it's not imperative. Choose your install file. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna go out and grab this path and paste it in here with a setup.exe, perfect. Very important, big gotcha. Click the include entire directory. So there's two gigabytes worth of files that are gonna be copied down to your targets. And then your parameters. One of the biggest gotchas, I think, in, in silent deployments, people who, who do not put the correct, or in some cases, any silent parameters. Uh, in this case, the silent parameter, if you use the OCT, is forward slash admin file space and then the name of your admin file. Boy, I did that again, JJ. Keep on copying the wrong thing. Copy and paste buffers, confusing me since uh, 1995. All right, so just copy that or add that file there. Once again, we don't have to specify the path since it's in the same directory, but that's the file that we just created. So there's our parameters. Um, if you are running this from a file share, the uh, install files, go to your package properties. This only works in pro or enterprise. Uh, once again, only if you're doing this from a file share, change your copy mode from push, if it's set to push, to pull. And that's only for this, we're only doing it for this particular package, but that will save some time during your deployment. So your copy mode is pull. Um, there's our setup exe with our, our parameter, yada, yada. Go ahead and close that. Now we'll deploy this. Go to deploy once. And this is where you can type in the names of your computers if you want. Uh, let me just quickly open up inventory. Find out which ones I can deploy to. Let's just go, let me just grab and see if Abraham has it. Go to applications. This is a PDQ inventory, by the way. Um, nope, no office. So we'll just do Abraham. How's that sound? Uh, obviously choose targets. You can choose targets from PDQ inventory, from Active Directory, et cetera, or in this case, you can just type them in. Hit enter, and uh, we're gonna deploy this to Abraham. Hit deploy now, and there it goes. Uh, depending on the speed of your network, depending on the speed of your target, et cetera, uh, this could take anywhere from, you know, I've seen it take anywhere from, from four minutes to 45 minutes. I mean, it, it kind of spans that whole Kind of spans that whole thing. Um, we'll go ahead and wait here for this to deploy and then uh, get back to you. All right, and our uh, deployment was successful. It took, in, in our case, six minutes, 47 seconds, and uh, Office 2016 is now installed on Abraham. If you have any questions, by all means, hit up our support site. There's a lot to that OCT. Make sure you uh, go through all those uh, different steps. Make sure that you're installing the components that you want. Once again, if you have any questions, hit us up. We'll talk to you later.